device. We'll start out by securing our hook in the vise. <laughs> nice and secure. Then we will take our thread. I think this is brown thread and we'll start angling our way back towards the bend of the hook. Over top of our tag end, take our scissors and we'll snip off the tag end. Just wrap over that spot that we had snipped off on. Just sort of cover that up and make it nice and flat. So we're going to wrap up to about halfway down the hook. See, I gotta grab my stuff here. Okay, I'm getting deer hair ready for what it looks like. It takes a little bit to get ready, so this might take a little bit. So there I have it. As you can see, I snipped off the ends, so that they're pretty much even. I have deer hair here. Now I'm gonna just stack it, and then I will cut off the ends again, so that they're nice and even. So right now I'm just stacking it. Just showing the stacker here. This that was the kind of stacker that I use for stacking this deer hair. And after you've removed all of the stuff from the base of the hairs that will keep it from stacking, with like a comb or something, and all the short hairs, then you put it into that, and then you stack it, and then you pull it out, and all the ends will be all nicely oriented and flat. So that way you'll have a better looking flat. Alright, so as you can see here, I have a nice and cut. Just can start wrapping over the butt ends. Take two wraps, tighten down. As you can see, they flare, so now I'm just gonna wrap through those butt ends, that way it will not twist. And then I'll just start working my way back down towards the bend of the hook. See, I sort of need to clean out some of it because it sort of did spin a little bit. But if you need to do that, just take your time and get it to look nice. my way back down towards the bend a little ways. I'm gonna wrap back up a little ways just to sort of flatten down that deer hair. Next thing I will be using is dubbing. Well first I'll cut off all these butt ends that way it's not all crazy up here. That way the dubbing will wrap smoother around it. As you can see I had a container down there to catch all of those things that I cut off so that's really handy that way you don't get your desk all covered in deer hair and stuff. Alright so I'm going to be using this thread instead of dubbing. 
it's just yellow. I don't know what kind of thread it is, but you can use yellow dubbing too. It works just as well. I just am going with this because I don't have any yellow dubbing right now, but yellow dubbing will work just as well. So anyway, I'm going to take the thread and I'll just cut off the section that I need. put it around the back side of my thread, hold it, what I'm doing here, oh, I'm trying to take it off, okay anyway, I, I'm just going to wrap around the back side of my thread, just like that, put it up on top, just where I need it. And then I'm going to take my thread and go over the top one wrap and I will shorten it by pulling on the other end so I have to get all this deer hair where I need it. As you can see I'm going to just take, see I just pulled that, uh, pulled out that happens you just do it again I've had it happen a few times so anyway you can see I pulled it I'm just gonna wrap over that butt end till it looks nice wrap all the way up to the back of the where I have the deer hair I'm gonna wrap in front of where I have the deer hair Snip off the butt end. Wrap up a little ways. Now I'm just going to start wrapping this up towards the eye of the hook. Just trying to cover up all of that deer hair and thread that's over there. Just get it nice and yellow. That way you can't see anything that's underneath of there. That'll make for a really good looking fly. As you can see right here, I'm trying to build up a taper going down to the thread. Once I get to the thread, I'm just going to tie it off. I'm just going to snip off this butt end. Sorry for the blurriness. I'm just going to wrap over that butt end. So it looks nice and it's nice and secure. Now I'm going to take the deer hair, get it all into a clump, and I will pull it forward. This is the tricky part, because you don't want to snip any of it off, but we'll pull it forward over top of the hook. And then we will, once we get it where we need it, we will wrap over that and tie it down securely. And the hook I'm using is a size 12 if anybody's wondering. So I've tied it down here. And then, to get it nice and secure, you can see it sort of sticks up and get it into a clump. Pull some more thread down. Start tying up towards the eye, wrapping over it all the way up towards the eye. Then we'll angle backwards and wrap over top of that. Now, I'm just going to be taking some dubbing here. This is a more lighter colored dubbing. 
sort of like a tan color. So I'll be taking a wisp of that. I'll just be pulling it back and forth and laying it on top of each other to get all of the strands angled in the same direction. As this will be our wing. We will put it on at the halfway point and tie it in right on top of the fly. We'll pull the remainder of it back and tie that in too. So that we have a nice bushy heart, nice bushy wing. So now we will be taking that same yellow stuff and we'll be tying it on again. Pulling it straight short. We'll tie that in right at the back. Tie it up to where the wing comes out. Snip off that butt end. Trying not to cut anything else. Wrap up to the eye. And we'll just start wrapping that to cover our thread going up towards the eye. Just covering all of that. Go up towards our tying thread. to cover everything, make it look real nice. As you can see, I'm going over it a second time and then a third time just to make it fill in all those holes and make it look real nice. I stopped at the back here and that's where I'm gonna be tying this off. I take one lap around there towards the back. Take another one. And then here's where I will finish doing this and I'll wrap over top of my thread right there just to hide that. So now that I'm up to where my thread is, I will tie this off. I will snip this part off. Alright, now here's the tricky part. So I'm going to take all of the deer hair into one clump and I'm going to angle it backwards. It's hard because there's so little. I'm just going to push it with my thumbnail make it look how I want it. Make sure I have it all. And then I will just wrap over top of those to make a head and a small wing. If you have longer deer hair you can make the wing look a little longer. I don't really like to clip off those tip ends because they have that black mark on them so they look real nice. So now I'm just going to do the whip finish. As you all know, I'm going to do a 3-4 to four turn whip finish until it looks nice, seat the knot, and then I will rinse it up and I will snip it off. So the last step will be to take the wing and clip it off about the same as the deer hair. <clears throat> In this one, I clipped it off a bit short, <clears throat> as you can see, but you can clip it off to about the back part of the whole fly, so it's about half the length of the fly. Now I'm just going to clean up some of the deer hair around here. And anyway, there is your finished grasshopper. Hope you liked the video, and I'll see you on the next one.